what going on everybody today i'm on the west end on the grill checking out a restaurant that's inside a hotel this is blue maho greeted by awesome architecture there's cut stone walls there's greenery it's just lush and nice the staff is friendly the food smells amazing and the restaurant is open for breakfast lunch or dinner So behind is an open kitchen so you have the full display of what's going on in here while you dine. You can see the food being prepared or you can dine outside and wait for it to come to you. But behind the chefs just have an open station so you know they're working the magic behind there bringing out flavors. The smell as you're walking is just woo, through the roof. What kind of seasons are you using on it, Chef? I want to go to that. It's a mixed spice with many different seasons. And uh, this is um, cayenne pepper for a little spice. And this is a uh, blend season, scary and time on here and so forth. Okay, so you have to blend it out already on those Yeah, blend out uh, so we pick up at the end. So right now we are dealing with um, some tenderloin mm -hmm. right here. So we season it. This is an all pack spice season. So we add it. When you add it to blend season, no, well seasoned. Blend season. They blend. put it well seasoned. Yes. <laughs> so we add um, a little oil. And then we massage in the season the spice inside. Let's massage it, that's the flavor go right inside, you know? Yeah man, rub it down. Yeah man. Make sure it says soak. Yeah man, right. Marinate true. properly. And then we add straight over straight to the grill. Straight to the grill. Yeah man. We're doing lobster on that side and steak on this side, all right? So all we don't right. want the contamination. So we just had it. You hear that sizzle right away? Yeah, man. Oh, wow, the smell of that seasoning there already. Yeah, man, I hate, man. <laughs> it's a heat. You make this yeah, for the man. hotel? So this yeah, is a whole seasoning yeah, that man. you did? So we can use it. We can't tell the wine there? We can't use it for everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, hide here, you tell the wine there. No, man, you know, I tell the wine there, you know? Come here, say, if you want that, the spice. All right, do my work. Yeah, man. So we season the, um, the lamb the same way. You understand? Also, it's a versatile season. Yeah, it's a, like an all-purpose season. Yeah, man. A mixture. So you add the same seasoning. Okay. And then you rub again. Yeah, man. So this is our red meat, so you can add it on the same side as steak. All right, on the grill. Right on the grill. Yeah, man. All right, there's. I'm going to go on sizzle. You catch a nice golden color, then you turn it. Yeah, you don't want it overcooked. No, I mean, something no, like man. You don't want it overcooked. You want it soft, nice texture, you know? Yeah, man. You don't want it dry, but you also want it juicy. Right. You understand? Yeah, man. <laughs> I want to taste the whole seasoning blend. You oh, can just put it. it. Yeah, man, because yeah, you know, I tell me. Yeah, man. I have to see what I want. Wally pass it in man. Wally pass it in night. That's very nice, one. Yeah, man. Taste the most garlic, like the onion. Yeah, man. Everything mixed up. The yeah. seasoning salt. Yeah, man. Everything mixed up in night. Eh? 
and a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, man. Good. You have to balance, you know, make sure you see the balance. That's a very nice rub. Yeah, man. Very nice rub. Yeah, man. So you can use for everything. Yeah. Everything. You can taste it. You can yeah. go on the steak, you can yeah, go man. on the lamb. Everything. And you can go on seafood as yeah, well. Yeah, man. Everything. So right now, we are going to make a shrimp pot. All right? So this is a shrimp or a portion. We use six to eight shrimp. Mm -hmm. So as we say, high purpose season again. Everything. And the blended veg yeah, as man, well. Yeah, man. The blending season. See what I mean? Seasoning. And you add a little. You can taste well when you add a little bit of that. Yeah, man, you put it on your purpose. You say, no, no, no. I know, I know little, uh, little yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Onion. Yeah, Skeleton go in and make it bitter, but. Yeah, man. Not no bit of that nice. Yeah, man. It's light. Yeah, man. So it's here you have. Ooh, hold well on there. You have some right. scotch bonnet yeah, in at that. Right, yes, yeah, man. Right, yes, sir. And inside of that now, you add orange. Kalalo. This is already washed and chopped. Okay. Already. So, this so it's is just a, ready for the pot. Yeah, man. It's just ready for the pot. Right, it's a fast going restaurant. Yeah, you, know, you have to, you have to be quick. You have to the, prepare. When right. you're on the line, you got yeah, to man. move. So yeah. Add in a little kalu right here. Or the colors. Tarts again. Tarts again. So again, you add oh, little. Oh, those smells. Oh. Yeah, add you little. smell that? The yeah. stack. Oh. There we go. Right, yes, sir. I know Jamaican, we love the coconut milk, right? Yes, man. I feel like a little sweep on the heat. Yeah, man. Now if you say add a little coconut milk. Yeah, man. This can take a little bit more broth to cook the kalalu. So I leave it there to simmer for about 10 minutes. But you still you know, say we have cooked steak and lamb, we have to check pan, you know? Yeah, man. We have to check pan. We can't leave you over there so we burn, you know? So I guess we are going to feed. See that? See that? Nice coloring. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, man. And then our lamb now coming out the same way. Yes. Yeah, man. You're getting great char marks on yeah, it. That man. will just yeah, add flavor to the meat itself. Yeah, man. Yeah, the char mark is like a garnish. Yeah, man. Plate, same way, you know? People but eat right, them so. high. You have to give them something for love. Yeah, man. Also, seafood linguine, all right? As you, as you see, as you see before, we have our um, linguine cooking. Yes. Yeah, man. We have a linguine cooking fresh, you know? Fresh linguine, you see? You don't want this cook too much. No, you want, you want it kind of firm. Yeah, man. Some person like it cooks soft, but most person no, like it al dente. is how it yeah, should man. be, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, come back over here, so we are dealing with the seafood linguine now. All right, there's a big chunk of lobster right here, so we are going to cut it into small pieces. Small pieces, so you can take it up with your linguine. As you can see, no cross contamination. We have our blue board. Yellow board, brown board. So the blue board, you know, is for the seafood. Brown board, white, um, poultry, and um, cooked cook food are over here. White vegetable. So nice. As I say, we add our all-purpose seasoning. Again, come back over your veg station right here. We add a little sweet pepper, onion, and carrot. It's over the year, the practice, you know? Yeah, yeah man, line chef work is that. Yeah, man. And see? Practice. And uh, when you have a out there, so full of people. Uh -huh. And your orders people. backing up. Yeah, man, you got to keep going, you know? Yeah. This is love, this is passion. Yeah, man. So right here, you have a little Hardy's white wine. You yes. Can use, yes. You can, you can use um, Frontier also. But we use Hardy's, all right? Yeah. That's just going to add flavor. You're going to yeah, burn man, off the flavor. alcohol, so it's left with a sweet flavor. The smell of that coming up already. So I'm just really burning off the alcohol, so that yeah, the man, wine and sell. Always go back and add oil, coconut milk. I love the flavor. You know, it looks a back base yeah, flavor. Nice. So you add the coconut milk. Okay. With the broth.
most um, linguine pastas overall, you know, say if you put in herbs. Yes. Yeah, man, herbs bring out yeah, the man. flavor of pasta. So, you, the main herbs, we always add a basil. A little nice flavor in the background. Nice, you know? Make it basil. pop a little more. Yeah, man, and oregano. So, you infuse the flavor from the oregano and the basil into the um, pasta first. So we add the heavy cream now. Add about half cup. And just wait until that thick now. Yeah man, you're going to simmer down. But if it's... Okay, so. Simmer down, you know. So I have a little grill color on the front right here. Oh, it's good. Yeah man. <laughs> Eat that. I eat that one. So you know, so when you get the parmesan cheese in a hit, you get a kick. For sure. You understand? It so, heightens the flavor a lot. Yeah, man. That so cheese. that's why most person when they might have pasta, they get a side of the parmesan cheese on the side. Because it's always nice to add in more. You understand? Which is I. That tight needs a little bit and give it, give it flavor to also, you know? I'm going to add a little color to our pasta, yeah, a little tomato. Just check it if it's set right. Yeah man, you have to ensure it's set right before you put it out, yeah? Both of these are almost ready. But this could only look, take a little more at the nice all purpose. All purpose. Yeah man, I will keep the flavor going, you know? Absolutely. Both of them can take a little more. Not too much. Spice, yes, add a, man. Add a little spice. Right, yes, yeah, man. Right. Of course, Scotch bonnet. Hey, yeah, one right. thing I appreciate about this hotel so far, on a cook with season, on a cook with flavor, on a cook yeah, with man. pepper. Yeah, man. You know what? No raw food, you know. Nice Jamaican Scotch bonnet. Yeah, you're giving thing. out Jamaican flavors. Yeah, man. Interested to see how this will because the heat from that little veg mix. And yeah, then man. some more scotch money, that's right up my alley. Yeah man, right, yes sir. Right, for most of our food, like the surf and turf, or lamb, we serve it with veg on the side. Mashed potato, you always get the veg, healthy veg on the side, you know? So we have, um, here we have um, zucchini, have fresh. yellow squash, cabbage, pak chai, as a combination of mixed veg. So we steam this and put right on the side of the food, you know? And coconut milk. Yeah, man. Of course. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Don't forget that. So then when the food's so nice, the chef now, now we see, you know? We see season. We add season. We put season in it, you know? Yeah, man. Add a little water as well to that. All right. Both of these two are ready. Yeah, you can see how thick it's yeah, got man. a lot thicker than it did. It tightened yeah. up. Right, yeah. And that curry, of course. Check out the linguine. All right. This is ready to come out. From this side. Pull it down a little bit. You're cooling it down so it doesn't overcook yeah, it pretty doesn't much. Overcook and get so you're bringing the temperature yeah, down off of it. Yeah, man, as a finish. 
Nice. Yeah, man. So basically, you can tell the firmness of it. How, yeah, how you cooking this today, chef? What what temperature are we going at? Yeah, so yeah, go medium. Medium well. well. Yeah, man. Medium That's well. me right there. And medium for the lamb. And medium for the lamb. Yeah, Perfect. Man. Beautiful. It's a lobster. Don't want this to get dried out either. No. So you, just, you don't want to overcook so and get to tough and the back, or anything. And the back of the grill is much lower than the front part. So oh, so you have different there, temperatures different going on? Different temperature on the grill. But they have to know the temperature. So you put it up there for a You know your grill. You have yeah, to know man. what you're working with. And our steak, we make a, a brownie sauce. It's made of red wine, oh. a whole lot of ingredients. Yes, a burning sauce. Yeah, man, but no, we're know, steak, steak food is very popular in the United States, so we go by um, red wine to add a nice flavor. The red wine gives us a good sauce. Yeah, so you just so, reduce it right yeah, down. Yeah, man, reduce right down. So that's just the alcohol that's burning off of it. So yeah, man, once know. that alcohol burns down, you'll see the flames come down and it will reduce and get thicker. Yeah, man, so you had every cream. Put it down. Coconut milk. Coconut milk again. Yeah, man. Drink sauce. So jerk sauce. Jerk sauce. Yeah, man. Made by the hotel also. I need to try that as well. Yeah, man. Might want to clear that on the side. And then our all purpose season again. Herbs. Then a little parmesan cheese. In your store and let it reduce. Nice is, color. Yeah, man. This is sauce that's served with the, um, the with lamb, this, lamb and, and, the and steak. steak. Yeah. That red wine with a nice flavor yeah, to man. the steak and to the lamb, and it will have a hint of sweetness on it to balance whatever gaminess might be in the lamb, and also just to have that sweetness around the steak as well. Yeah, man. See how rich it is. Oh, it's starting to thick up already. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Spicy. Ketchup base? No, man. Yeah, ketchup base. Ketchup base. Ooh. Hot. Just perfect for me. <laughs> Not hot. Perfect amount of heat. Nice spice, nothing that when you always hear me make you run up and down and ball for your mother, but not children friendly. But this one, nice. <coughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> nice spice. <laughs> garlic We're butter. getting rich now with some garlic butter. Yeah, man, for the lobster. So that's how that's garlic butter you made here? Yeah, man, we made it here. So we, as I said before, we got, we got most things prepared because we cannot prepare it in process because it's a fast going restaurant. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, so this is, you want to pair this with the lobster? Yeah, man, this is going to serve with the lobster because grilled lobster, no, mm. what serve with the grilled lobster? Garlic butter. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, man. Now our steak sauce has reduced, so we can now turn it off. What are you doing? You're checking the firmness of it yeah, man, to I'm see what type of temperature on it already. already reached already. All right, mozzarella fresh. Fresh mozzarella. Yeah. So this is basically like a caprese that we're doing. Yeah. 
Lovely. Fresh mozza. Three, um, three slices and the same amount of tomato. And slice it thick so that yeah, man. those mozzarella cover it. Usually some people add a balsamic vinegar. Yeah, man. No man, it's going to go hand there. There are more things that go on. Yeah man, no, no, no. Me no, me just say. Yeah man. Not rush your thing, chef. Do your thing, yeah <laughs> man. So this is um, pesto. Pesto. Pesto sauce. Okay. You pour it. The basil on top. Yeah, you know basil leaf already in the pesto yeah, already still, but what is the garnish like? Um, Next sip, more appealing. Yeah, man. Salt and pepper. Light sprinkle, nice. Yeah. And then there you go, um, balsamic. Balsamic counter. Balsamic dressing. Herbs. So we chopped tomato for our bruschetta. Um, balsamic. Our French bread is already toast already, right? This is feta cheese. Jizzle. I just put a little sketch on the plate. Thing. Wow. Bro, it's beautiful. <laughs> Man, write better with that than me write with pen. <laughs> nice. Perfect. That is it. What's your odd design? <laughs> so I'm gonna sprinkle a little parsley. Okay. Beginning. <laughs> so we're gonna reheat the linguine. A little bit of pasta. Just dab it and then close it. Yeah. Us. I guess had a hot up rice. Okay. I'm going to pass it together. Perfect. That is it. That is it. Perfect. And there we go again. <laughs> That's the name. I'm just yeah, putting that curry sauce into the yeah. right and making sure it gives it that so it get golden out. color, the yellow color. Yeah. Huh? I can't wait to try this. It smells the look. 
just the flavors that you're coming with into that pot, into the shrimp, into the pasta. Yeah, no, into the place. This smell of the curry is just going through the nostrils and just inviting you into the rice, into the shrimp, into the seasoning. Juicy cream. No, this is a thing. This is this is house bread. This is made here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we we filled up on this last time. It's not my first time here, and this bread is just absolutely amazing. And the fact that they make it here. Oh, sure, I forget serious a pipe. That you know, those, those one you can drink that. <laughs> Beautiful. Can this sound? Yeah, man. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah, amazing. The creativity, the style, the flavors that you're putting out, just the way you're presenting your food. Yeah, man. Really yeah. appreciate you. And there's yeah, not man. many hotels that I go to where you get real Jamaican flavors and taste. Yeah, man. And what you're getting from that sauce. From the jerk sauce, you're getting spice, you're getting flavor, you're getting a taste of Jamaica. Amanda and I have been here before, and after eating the food, I said, No, I have to come back and film this place, and that's how we ended up back here. I haven't had what we're about to have here now, but I can tell you that from before. Awesome, bro. Yeah, man. We see, see, see any plate? Maximum respect. Enjoy. All right. Yeah, <laughs>
Paris, what a kitchen experience with Chef Winston in there. The Blue Maho, the flavors, it's exceptional. It's at Ocean Clip Hotel, West End Negril. You come in, locals are allowed on the property. We can walk in, we can book a reservation, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, and you can have a feast of spectacular flavors prepared by Chef Winston and his team. And I can't wait to dive into this. You know, I have to go, I'm a bruschetta. I, I love, as a pizza lover, anybody who loves pizza will love bruschetta. Mm. Great acidity from the tomatoes, but also the balsamic vinegar. And tasting the basil, the feta adds nice balance to it. Good flavor all around, but that bread. That bread is the star that makes everything else pop. Oh, 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 look at that. That's that lamb. Look at that. Look how tender it is. <laughs> how soft it is. Oh my god. It's so tender. It's so juicy, so flavorful. It's cooked perfectly. Like literally, it just, I could use a spoon and cut this. Oh my God, the flavor is rough. You have that lamb taste, which you're not a fan of it. You're just not a fan of it. I'm a super fanatic of it. And that butter-like meat that just falls right apart and you have a little parcel of fat right there. Bro. Mm. Man, they are look for me because she wants a lot, man. Mm -hmm. Great flavor. That seasoning on it, though, it's perfect. Perfectly seasoned. You, I really, really appreciate that. That's what you had the last time we were here that you came back and wanted the lamb again. That's what I have every time I'm here. Bro. <laughs> that's what you have every time you're here. Every single time. That lamb. Wow. That, that's going on the hit list, bro. That's, that's top. That's top five, top three, top. It a top. It a top, a top, a top. How's that lamb? Lamb has this very specific gaminess to it. And the gamey flavor is my favorite part about the lamb. And this is just so exquisitely tender. It's beautiful. It's so, so tender. Well, it's so good. <laughs> Let's cut into this steak and see exactly what's happening in there. I had it sitting for a little bit, taking the pictures. It was cutting nicely. It's a tenderloin. And I, I think I might have put it down too long when I was there. But look at that. Beautiful pieces, kind of cut out along the grain. But very nice. I want to change it and cut the grain. There are very few dishes that have garnered the popularity such as a steak and a lobster to be called surf and turf. It's one of the most popular dishes in the world. The flavor of lobster the taste of steak, it just goes well together. Land, sea, the perfect pairing. Mm. I think even God agree with me. It's going to start. That steak is perfectly cooked for me. I thought I may have put it down too long and it might have been overcooked because Chef had it there and he was saying, you know, the steak, the steak, watch the temperature. But it's not as tender as a lamb, but this piece of sirloin is cooked perfectly. It's flavored well. That season hitting the spot went well with everything. Mm. Wow. When I tasted that seasoning, which had the blended spices, the blended herbs, it had spice on there. Not getting that spice kick, but you're getting flavor. You're getting true tender flavor of beef and wow 
really nice this season. Very light, but very consistent with all around. You're getting it right down when you're through on each part that's encrusted. And also, those grill marks give it that nice little char flavor and doesn't taste burnt or bun up. Just a nice char on it. Mmm. A nice red wine to pair with this. Beautiful. No long talking. Great steak. Anytime I find good steak in Jamaica, I have to grab it up because the marbling is not something that we get. People always say, oh, your steak's supposed to be real nice because the cows eat natural grasses. Yeah, but the, the cow them walk hill. The cow them go all about. The cow them not stand up in our pen like foreign and develop that fat consistency and stay in one place. They eat good, they eat natural, but the mouse are running all over the place. So they're kind of tough. So when you get a steak that's tender, that just falls apart and gets the right heat in there, not overcooked, and pairs well with a lot of the grains, it's something that, you know, they say that's a man's food in, in, in America. Curry goat a food food on about Manish water, a food man food on about a steak. Goes well any time of the day, any time of the year anytime you pair it with lobster. You know when you always have your girlfriend or your wife and they say they don't want any food and then they come and want some of your food. Are you going to give me? <laughs> mm. I'll come back when you start the lobster. <laughs> you know, I'm dip some in the garlic butter as well. Oh, cholesterol. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Got me something more. Whoa! That lobster now. Oh, it's so butter. Oh, look at that. It's so tender on the inside. You can feel it. That it's not overcooked. It's not tough. And it falls right out. You get a nice piece of that lobster meat. And we're just going to drizzle it all over with that butter. Oh, look at that. We just drizzled that garlic butter all over it. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm. That seasoning in that char form a little layer of crunch. That's a layer of flavor. Can we crunch onto one of that char, man? Just pop. Mm. Wow. Would it be blasphemous to put a piece of lobster with the steak? Oh, the garlic butter went all over the steak as well. Or put a piece of steak with the lobster, whichever. Oh. Mm. Mm. A perfect pairing. Mm. You know, the back of the tongue. The lobster, the beef, the drizzle of the garlic butter onto both. Both perfectly cooked. Both so flavorful. Oh my god. Mm. No. Tear that piece out as well. Something that hit different with Caribbean rock lobster. To me, I like the claws of a main lobster. But Caribbean rock, rock lobster, I just find it more flavorful. Few foods in this world that present, that give you that comfort level of like a pasta. Pasta is what to me is one of the ultimate 
comfort foods. And when you have a seafood pasta, linguine, and then you Jamaicanize it with some, uh, somewhat Jamaicanize it. Well, there's scotch bonnet pepper in there. But you Jamaicanize it with some coconut milk and stuff like that. Wow. Mmm, perfectly balanced. Great creamy texture and also very nice flavor. It's not seasoned where you're not getting that type of taste that you would normally get from a linguine. It has it and it's well balanced and it also has the shrimp, it has lobster. Mm. Shrimp is perfect too. This is really good. Oh, chef, chef outdid himself completely. He did. This is, I mean, everything so far has been so well prepared, so well balanced, so well seasoned. Wow. Mm. I can't stop eating it. I, I don't know when me not talk. <laughs> it's creamy. It's satisfying, the, the, the texture of it is, is really well. The cream isn't too thick, it's still very rich. It still has great flavor, great texture, and great balance with the cream, the coconut milk, which I'm not tasting. You can tell that there's a little sweetness to it, but you wouldn't tell me that's not the cream itself that he added in there and reduced down. So it's really doing quite a number on the palate, and it's something I definitely come here and order again. Usually I get mine. And I like to add a little more Alfredo, uh, Alfredo, a little more Parmesan on it. But it's, it's, it doesn't even need it. You could just eat it just like this. And it, the flavors, the texture, kudos to the chef. This is such a beautiful dish. And not just beautiful, kind of unique. It's kind of a take of a one down dish where it, fuses the influences of Jamaica, where you have the Indian influence and the West African influence pretty much coming together. You have the rice and peas, which has the curry all over it, and you also have shrimp in there, which is a curry shrimp as well, which is a mixture of our two main ethnicities, apart from African descendants on the island, the Indian is the second largest ethnicity. So it basically is out of many more rock and curry dish. Everybody like curry with them fried chicken or pan and rice and peas with the fried chicken. This one is cooked in it. Curry flavor is excellent. Really cooked very well. Quite unique that you're having it with rice and peas with shrimp, but I like it. Mm. I was a little worried about how long that shrimp was cooking for with the curry, but no. Still bouncing that rubbery. Still has juice in it. And the different textures coming together with the curry, the coconut milk from the rice and peas, bringing out real good flavor. Wow. This is exceptional. Chef has really done quite a job. I've been literally so impressed with the staff, with the kitchen, with the flavors that I'm now about to talk to the manager. And in mind, what we're going to do, there'll be a link in the description for it. We'll be doing cooking classes through Jamaica Food Tours here at Blue Maho with Chef Winston. So if you want to book, you can go online at www.jamaicafoodtours.com. I'll put a link in the description so you can get cooking classes, any dish on the menu that you want. He will teach you how to do it. Teach you how to deal with Jamaican flavors and that meal will be yours once you're done preparing it in the kitchen with Chef Winston. So check that out, that's coming soon. Cooking classes at the Blue Maho through Jamaica Food Tours. A Snigril without a blended fruit punch, natural fruits from Jamaica and just a taste of home. Mm. Just the way I like it, not too sweet and full of fruits. Cheers.
Come give me that bag. Yeah, I'll raise beg it, beg it. You know, the wife thing, though. No, it's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> So, lovely. Take it, take it, take it. Take okay, it. thanks. <laughs> this is such a beautiful dish. And not just beautiful, it's a unique. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a take on a one, one oh, it's, ah, it's <laughs> kind of a take on a one dung, one dung dish. 